Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Obey. Thank you for stopping by the collection room. Today we're taking a look at Marvel Legends Wolfsbane. Um, uh, man, I, I want to get out of Marvel Legends. I'm just I'm tired of their price point. Like, it just seems so unreasonable for what it is. Uh, but they do produce figures that I still, like, really love the character. So it's really hard for me to just say no. Now, this is the only one out of this line. I will be bothering myself with because nothing in this else looks interesting. Uh, so sorry, Zabu, uh, you are not going to get finished. I will probably just sell your chunk of your torso online. But uh, I've always kind of loved Wolfsbane, so we're going to pop her out of here. I liked her better in the New Mutants than I did in X Force, but it is what it is. Yeah, see, I mean, other than the big, big build of fake, fake figure piece, there is not a lot in this package. So you get a big lion's body, and that's it. Saber to cat's body. Uh, and then you get Wolfsbane. Adjust slightly there. We do get two punching fists, which. It's fine. Uh, she doesn't normally use punching fists, so uh, probably not something I'll ever use. They'll probably just go in the bin. And by that, I mean a bin of parts, not a trash can. Um, I do like you're getting a lot of fresh sculpt on this because of the hairy body. Uh, we're getting, finally, some thick legs for Mar Marvel Legends women. I hate it when they give us the really scrawny legs. It just, it just feels like crap. And we've actually got some pretty beefy arms, which is also... A bonus we've got that going on sometimes they make it really flat and lousy and that's quite full and that's good this has a good feel to it sometimes you get a Marvel Legend and it's too spindly and it feels just I don't know scrawny and weak and like it's gonna snap she's got thickness to her and that's good also good is this awesome Rob Liefeld inspired hair just look at it. It's a sculpted sec second piece. Um, looks like there's some paint in it. Quite a bit, so that looks good. And the facial expression they gave her is excellent. It's all nice and snarly. Perfect. So aesthetically, uh, I'm really digging that. Articulation-wise, looks like it's pretty standard Marvel Legends fare. We have a kind of a lollipop... Uh, Head, head joint there. It's on a hinge with a ball, with a dumbbell on the other end. So you get quite a bit of tilt looking around up and down. You're going to be all right with that. And you're going to get a moderate but not fantastic uh, ab crunch. Actually, that's a pretty decent ab crunch that rocks back. Um, you're not going to get any waist rotation. You're, it's going to be supplied by the, the ball joint in the abdom, abdomen. Abdomen. Uh, you get ball joints that's a shoulder, but you also have some hindrance going on with these shoulder pads. It's going to slow you down a little bit. You get upper bicep cuts. Double jointed elbows, which I can't remember if that's like how long they've been doing that. It's not been forever. You get rotations with a hinge at the wrist. Ball joints at the hips, which don't go out all the way, but I don't feel like they need to. Um, they move forward relatively good. You get double jointed knees. You do get an upper thigh cut. It's past the main thickness of the thigh, so it's up at the smaller part, which is actually the best place to put it. Um, the double jointed knees worked quite well. They feel nice and firm. Of course, this is a new mold, so you're gonna have a lot less like uh, worn out feeling to it. Some of those molds that get used forever, uh, they do start to wear and you start to get to play in them. You get nice ankle rocker pivots. Um, nicely rendered feet, toe claws, um, not like super gross looking like they can look like sometimes. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, all in all, this is a very nice, uh, serviceable feline action figure woman. And I do find that I have a lot of uh, cat people figures. It's just something that I just tend to get. Like, uh, even if I'm not a huge fan of the character, just the fact that it's a cat, 
cat person will usually get me to buy it. Uh, a little stiff in the elbow or the shoulder there, but not too bad. Overall, I'm liking this. It's better than, a, than your standard reuse. It feels fresh. It feels good. Paint on it's good. Crisp, clean lines. I don't really have any complaints with it. Like, like I really like this figure, which is good because Marvel Legends, for what they charge for them these days, they should be good. They should be this good. Anyway, um, I don't really have much else to say about it. I'm very pleased with it. It's it's very. I think this is. I said a uh, X Force earlier, but I'm pretty sure this is an X Factor uniform, or it's from a time uh, afterwards that I don't remember. But it does seem like all the figures they make these days are from retro stuff, so who knows? Anyway, uh, that's my review. That's my take. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Possibly give me a subscribe. I would appreciate it. That's my story. Catch you later. Bye.